Hello and welcome to Game Night. This week we're going to be playing Ruby Combat Ready, a 1-5 to five player card combat cooperative game, try saying that 10 times fast, set in the Ruby universe. Players can play as one of the heroes from the Ruby universe, Ruby, Weiss, Blake, Yang, or Penny, and can play one of the many scenarios included in the game. A scenario will consist of a villain and a number of objectives that the heroes need to vanquish in order to win. You can also string a number of scenarios together into a campaign. And throughout a scenario and a campaign, you will gain experience points as you do actions, and you can use those to buy better cards and make your heroes better, level them up. So there's quite a bit to the game, but the basics of the game is the players want to knock the villain down to zero hit points, and the villain wants to knock all of the players down to zero hit points. If either of these are accomplished, that side wins. So how do you play the game? Well, there's actually a few different ways that you can play. You can play it as a purely cooperative game where all the players simply play against the game. Just the deck of cards, you'll draw a card from the villain's deck every turn. That will be its attack. Or you can play how we're going to play the game where one of the players plays as the villain and has his own set of cards. So each player and the way we're playing the villain will have their set of cards. There will be an active player in every duel. You can think of a duel as kind of a round with a number of turns taking place until the duel ends, usually in a bash. We'll get to that in a second. But the active player and the villain will each play a card face down. They will flip them over. Whichever one has the highest speed takes place. Now the other players aren't just sitting around and watching while the active player has the duel. They can assist the active player in a number of ways. They can either combo with that player, which means all of those players will attack together using the lowest speed of the card played. So, for example, if Calvin played a speed 4 card and Aaron played a speed 6 card, both of their attacks hit at a speed of 4. A lot of cards have assist text on the bottom, which just make the main player's attack better in some way. Also, sideline players can, instead of fighting the villain, tackle one of the scenario's objectives. In our scenario, we have the gunship support, snipers, and junior elite. Uh, the junior elite objective will put a number of minion cards out on the board that the players will have to fight. If not, they can do damage to the players or buff the villain in some way. The snipers will shoot at anyone that fails to fight the villain in the particular duel. And the gunship support just allows the villain to win ties, basically. So a duel ends once one side or the other is bashed, basically. And in order to be bashed, some cards will do it as part of their text. For example, the villain that I'm playing this game has a card that says if it hits, the player is bashed and they automatically lose the, that particular duel. So the game is played in a series of duels. In a duel, one player will be the active player against the villain. And the way a duel ends normally is one side, the, the hero or the villain, is bashed in that duel, which means they're knocked out. When that happens, objectives are resolved. In this particular case, that player gets shot by snipers, gets shot by thugs, it's a bad thing to happen. And then the next player in turn order becomes the active player and the main, main attacker in that duel. To end a duel, it can happen a number of ways. The active player, if they run out of cards, they lose the duel. On the, on the board, there are two fury trackers, one for the hero and one for the villain. The villains goes up every single turn, every single time a card is played, basically. Once it reaches the end, the villain automatically wins. So the hero only has so many rounds in order to defeat the villain in that duel. Once it gets to a certain point on the board, they will, the villain will then be able to bash the hero. What that means is if their attack hits and does damage to that hero, they win the duel at that point, but not before it reaches that point on their fury meter. The hero likewise, on their meter, uh, there's a section that says ultimate. And once they get to that point, they can play their ultimate attack, which automatically hits automatically does damage and automatically ends the duel in their favor. Like I said, once one is bashed, either the hero wins that particular duel or the villain, 
the turn order then moves to the next player and they become the active player. But like I said before, all the other players are also assisting either the main hero or fighting the objectives. Like I said, the game ends once the heroes are down to zero hit points or once the villain is down to zero hit points. So let's see who is triumphant in Ruby Combat Ready. Okay, I am playing twice. I am sassy, I am cute, and I am very ambitious. But we're gonna be playing this game. Uh, I like Ruby, you like Ruby, let's play. Hey, uh, my name's Shane, I'm playing Blake. Uh, so, never watched Ruby with the crew, I uh, hear good things. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to try to get in, uh, You try to dropped her! You dropped Blake! Oh, no, stop, sorry. Blake. All right, so I am Ruby, the leader of the team, which is great. I got speed on my side, giant scythe, some sniper action and stuff. So I, I should have some good damage, some good speed. I'm excited to see how this game plays. All right, well, I don't know anything about Ruby, but I know a lot about board games. I've never played this one in particular, but I've played games like it, so I think I have a big advantage. Plus, I'm the villain, Roman Torchwick. Look at that awesome boar and cane. I mean, these guys have like giant sights and whips and stuff, but I'm sure I'm gonna be fine. I have a plan, basically. I'm gonna go hard to start with, try to end the duel immediately with a super powerful shot that's gonna knock out the fighter like first thing before they can do anything. Gonna see how that goes. Hey guys, cool by the way back. I'm Rick. Eric. Aaron. Shane. And I'm Calvin. And we are playing Ruby Combat Ready, the Ruby board game. Anymore. <laughs> I've not seen the show, but I yes. like board games. <laughs> <laughs> Flashbacks. <Yeah. laughs> uh, as, you, as some of you guys know, me and Aaron and Calvin, we watch yep. Ruby uh, as much as we can. We haven't gotten to the new volume yet, but Not maybe that'll yet. be changing. I don't know. Uh, but these two have never seen Ruby, so no. uh, while we were kind of learning the, the the game, I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Oh, that makes sense. So I think I'll be able to follow pretty well. Cool. Yeah. Depending Hopefully. On the rules of the world of Remnant. If you're mm -hmm. familiar with board games, it plays a little like Marvel Legendary. So it's a card-based game. I'll talk about it in the intro. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you already talked about it in the intro. I did. You're right, Aaron. Holy shit. My mind is blown. No, we filmed this in order. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am playing as Cinder... Roman Torchwick. Roman Torchwick. Torchwick. <laughs> change names every time I'm you say I'm sorry. It. You're like, I'm Junior. I'm like, Junior. <laughs> uh, so icon? for this particular game, uh, there are a bunch of different uh, difficulty levels Yep. for the different villains. We're doing and max difficulty. This is medium. Oh, okay. This oh. is medium difficulty. You could have... So I'm playing with snipers that at the end of each duel in which the villain was not bashed, the active player receives four damage from this objective. And these guys can attack those snipers in order to get them out of receives the game. Receives four damage? Four yeah. damage, yeah. For if, if you're not successful yeah. in bashing the, exactly. the main duel. So it, if you lose the duel, basically, oh. they're going to shoot you. Yeah. Jesus, I thought every turn. No. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> That's what I thought, too. Is like, we got to take that down. <laughs> uh, gunship support. So I have a, a gunship. Uh, yeah. To escape with a load of dust crystals. I don't know what that is, but that sounds cool. It's real bad. Uh, dust is the stuff they use to. It's, it's like their like magic, magic powder. Okay. Almost. Yeah. Cool. So th this doesn't start in the game, but once I play an event card, which is one of these green ones, it's going to start. And from that point Any on. Any event card or is it a specific event card? As soon as I play my first event card. You son yeah. of a gun. So it is very specific. It's the first one. Uh, while active, I win ties. Mm. And if the active player gets bashed, all heroes suffer an additional damage. Jeez. That's not good. And, and then you, I and you can't kill that, right? We we can't kill that thing. Exactly, it's Dang the whole it. fight. Dang it! And I also have Junior's Elite, which are some henchmen that you guys can fight. Uh, so you will fight them just like you fight me, basically. But if you uh, don't kill them. them and the hero doesn't win the duel, then they're going to do attrition damage to the hero. And also, some of my attacks will be better the more henchmen I have. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's how that's going to work. And these are the minimum speed and the minimum health of each of these cards. But once you flip them over, they'll be in that Probably range. more than that. Okay. Right? Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, stage one is refresh. We've already done that. I've ab updated all my objective cards. You refresh any semblances, but it's the first round, so those are already refreshed. Yep. Now we do the dual round. So... I choose a card from my hand and we'll play it face down. And okay. Ruby is going to be the first dual person, as you can see here. It's fitting. On the board. Okay. It's very fitting. So now if I get assisted, people can give me like speed bonuses and stuff like that. Is that yep. how that works with speed, that? Speed, damage, 
Uh, you can also do a combo attack. But first, you want to see what kind of card I play. Okay, I see. So I'm going to play an aggressive card awesome. to start out with. So he's not doing his event card. So That's this will likely have a high speed and perhaps a high damage. And then Aaron will also play a card face down. And then all the other players will have a choice to either play a card with an assist ability, to combo with the active player, to fight an event, or to rest. So if I do this, people can choose to help combo with me then. Yep. If they have an assist. No, not for combos. Oh, okay. Right? Combos are just... Combos are face down. Mm -hmm. But you want to talk amongst yourself because there's nothing else I can do okay. at this point. So you, so you, you guys made your decision, freely. now we can talk. Exactly. Yeah. We can okay. talk, but we can't like show a card that we're wanting so, to play, right? No, you right? can. Now you with, can? Yeah. Okay. It's fine. So with the speed thing, as long as mine's faster than yours, or everyone's has to be faster than yours? If you combo, the slowest person's is the speed for the entire attack. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it has to be... So you don't want to put something with low speed, which is the lightning bolt? Yeah, the top yeah. left is the lightning bolt yes. speed. Thing. And the circles are the... The little things on the left side are the damage. Are the damage, the damage. That, that the attack will do. Because I gotcha. could do this. You do that. So you can't assist yourself, Aaron. Okay. But other players can. What, what do you mean? You can't play an an, assist a card, card with an assist. Yeah, okay. When can I use my semblance? Uh, whenever it says. Okay, it says, Weiss may use her semblance marker... Uh, to give any of the hero, uh, to give any hero's attack plus speed, plus one speed. If that uh, hero's attack deals damage, Weiss may draw a card. Weiss assemblance marker refresh. Sure. So, so, so you can do that now. Okay. If you want, and you can choose a player, and they will gain okay. that bonus. Go ahead and give it to Aaron. Can we give it to ourselves? Okay. Aaron. Okay. Do I do this something with this? Or? Uh, Normally, you put it on the on the top you can of put the on card, my card right? I guess, it doesn't so matter. No, and then I'll just give it back. Yeah, to you'll okay. just flip it over. So if if he misses, you don't have it for the rest of the duel. But if he hits, I think it says you get it back. If I deal damage, yeah. he draws cards. Well, it refreshes at the beginning of each duel. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If, if I do damage, he draws cards. Got it. Mine says, Blake may use resemblance marker on any hero before they make an attack to prevent all damage they would take as a result of that combat. Makes sense. Jeez. That's cool. That's crazy. Blake's semblance yeah. marker refreshes. That does kind of work with her semblance. That's really good. My semblance is I may use my semblance marker before attacking to give her attack plus one speed and plus one damage, and my semblance marker refreshes each time I take damage. Yeah. And I and have no semblance. I, uh, I gain plus two speed for any one of... My attacks, if Ruby gets hit and takes damage, though, <coughs> she suffers an additional damage. Mm. So, can, I, so can, we use, can we both use a semblance on Aaron? You could, but this duel is going to go on for a bit. Yeah, yeah. you can save Might it. Might want to save it for a bit. But oh, you can use it on anybody, too. I'm just so. giving you plus one speed. Hopefully, you can do some damage. So, Shane, you have an eight. That's pretty good. So, roll this, and you need to roll under an eight. So, seven and lower, and you'll be good. Yep. That's a one. You're good. One. Okay, Very that's nice. awesome. So, good the job. snipers go down to nine. Good job. And Eric, does he have? Does Shane have any when it, like special things that happen? Um, this only happens against the hero. The hero, okay. Yeah. The duel. The villain. So <laughs> Eric, a five. So you need less than a five. Okay. And nine. That is so a nine. that's a miss. Okay. So nothing happens. There's no penalty. Sure. Okay. Uh, you just don't have a card. Nope. Okay. okay. I guess I didn't know that. Uh, this stuff doesn't take effect. Well, s sometimes it does. Okay. So yours would have okay. done, but you missed. So, so those are discard. both discarded. Back to your individual discard piles. If you run out of cards, you'll reshuffle. Okay. All right. So now we do the, we reveal these. The combat thing? Yep. Okay. So no, I no, no. played a nine. Those, those I have a nine, but I have a plus one a speed. pile into it. Okay. And then Calvin has Let's a like, 10. Oh. Ah, very nice. <clears throat> we already uh, flipped our cards. Say the name of your cards. As well. uh, this one is Crescent Strike. And mine is Explosive Punch. And I played Explosive Shot, <laughs> but it missed. If I had hit and damaged you, I would have ended the duel right there. Ooh. Jesus, I'm I tried so to go, glad. I tried, yeah. I tried to go strong to start. <laughs> but that's, that's, I was like, oh man, he's going strong. I better play something big. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you did three damage? I did. did yeah, damage, we did so three I damage. Did the, uh, you draw a card, draw right? Card? Mm -hmm. And then I'll give you that little <laughs> white thing back so that you just have it there. So I and discard me. now have and discard 62 you. hit points. You want you and your figure is going to go up one, two, three spaces, Aaron. This is the same duel still, or the duel is the yes. duel over? Yep, now, no. Now I get same duel until he uses his ultimate, or I, until I bash I him. gain one XP now, right? Uh, yes, so you gain an XP, Calvin gains an XP for comboing, and both of you gain an XP for attacking a... Um, a minion. Does Eric get it even though he didn't hit? No. Sorry, Eric missed, so okay. he does not okay. get one. 
Sorry. Good job, Aaron. <laughs> I'm just Aaron brought making it up. sure of the rules. Must be a team. I'm checking the rules. <laughs> okay, and so my fury I goes be up. Team leader. One. I'm Weiss. Oh man! He said I'm white. <laughs> oh, so that that moves up every round. Yeah, it moves up every round. Terrible! Okay. I gotta do a ton of damage. <laughs> uh, I'll help. So I'm gonna play an event. He's playing his event so that he gets a support ship, guys. Can anyone boost my speed with an um, assist? Can, yeah, yeah, no, I can. I can't. Anymore. So uh, events are not attacks. Basically, I will resolve the event. So you have no speed with that? And then I will play another card. Oh, you son of a gun! Yeah. Pretty sure that's how it works. That sounds card. terrible. I mean, you could play a card off of what I do. Uh, if a villain has drawn this, any events, he can choose to play them any time. When he does, he draws a new card to replace and it. And makes him okay. go down. So I'm just going to play this now. Whenever Roman plays an aggressive attack, he gains plus one speed bonus at the end of the round. Okay. So that activates the gunship. Okay. I draw a card, and then I will play a new one. Oh. Actually, I will play this. A balance card. Hmm. Aaron, what this one? I hope we understand the rules correctly. I hope we do too. <laughs> so you're both doing it. We're gonna and you're both using combo, your and we're both gonna use our semblances. Okay. Okay. That's a big one. Wait a minute. Did he flip the cards over? Not yet. We haven't flipped. Well, any can cards I yet. like use my semblance to make sure he? What yours do? Uh, you don't take uh, damage. Yeah. You wouldn't take damage if the attack fails or something. Yeah. Um. You, you can, I guess. I don't know. Is she the only one? Or is is Ruby the only character in this that could be damaged? I'm the only from... one that can take damage right now. Is that how it works? Or can anyone take damage right now? Um, normally only you. Okay. There are some cards I can play that have area effects. Okay. Like the uh, <coughs> like the one if you do damage to mm. the duel, then everyone takes damage thing. Um, everyone takes one damage. You mentioned it before. I can't remember what it was though. All right. So he, he has some things I can play. Yeah. Um, <sighs> and the henchman can hurt you if you're fighting the henchman. Yeah. Right. Shane, no, just hold on to it, and we'll see what happens with this. Okay. That way we have it for another backup, I guess. All right, Shane, let's do you first with a sniper. Okay. So you played a five, so you need to roll under a five. One. One. Good job. Yeah. Let's okay. have Shane keep fighting them snipers, yeah, baby. So. And also, this happens. So next round, you gain plus one speed and plus one damage. Ooh, awesome. Good. I don't know about that. Yeah, to just remember that. Yeah, well, yeah you can just put just the card there. Set so it there remember. as an active. Uh, actually, set there's also these. Phone. So. Oh. <laughs> Set an alarm on your phone. Plus yeah. one speed, plus one damage. Okay. okay. So you can put these on cards. Okay. As you wish. Yeah, they're double sided, so flip one of them over to speed and one to damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Eric? <laughs> yes, sir. Let's do you next. Thanks. Attacking so you are fighting Ooh. a mercenary. Okay. Oh, level six. six with mm. last shot. When this card is revealed, do two damage to the attacker. Oh, so no. So that happens just now. So you take two damage, Regardless Eric? of anything else. Darn. Anyone got anything that can heal Eric? I don't know if we have heals. He cannot do anything next turn if and you heal. Not do, if you don't do anything on a turn, you heal one. Okay. Oh, so he okay. played Impale, which is better than my six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's good. Uh, if this <coughs> attack damages the minion, destroy it. So normally it would do two damage, which would have killed him anyway. Mm -hmm. But it, it kills him. It kills yep. him. Yep. Okay. It kills him harder. <laughs> so that's yeah. so started. I, I lost two HP, but he's dead. But you he killed a dead. minion, which is good. And which is discarded? Yep. Dead. So that gets you an experience point, Eric. Uh, Shane also got one for the snipers. Good, yeah. Shane. All right. So, Rick, now it's us. Yep. Do you flip first? Uh, we flip at the same time. Okay. Okay. So, a seven. I'm playing Spiral Rose, which is a four. Okay. This happens first anytime there's an explanation. This attack gains double the effect from speed bonuses, which I use my semblance, which gives me a plus two speed. So, it's a plus four speed. Yep. Which makes it an eight. And then he comboed with me on uh, Bombardment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is a seven, but he used his semblance, which, which gives, gives me a, a plus one speed and plus one damage. So an eight. So he does an eight as well. This happens. Uh, if this attack fails, then you suffer an additional one damage. Okay. So my cane lash is a seven. So both of your speeds beat that. Mm -hmm. So my attack does not trigger. Okay. Instead, both of yours do. And I do four damage. Yep. And he does four damage. I do four damage. So that's eight. eight. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 50, so I'm at 54. Four. Yeah, awesome. that worked out good. Okay. Good. And just to the rules. <laughs> eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now do all Whoa, those shit. things trigger? Yes. So all players draw a card. Right. So wait, so Calvin and I both get for our attack one XP. One yes. XP, yes. Um, I can draw a card. We all draw, draw a card. card. Yes, you yep. all draw a card. Does everyone gain one XP? No, only you. Just okay. I gain one XP yes. for that, and then I gain one speed. Yeah. And then I gain one XP, and then I gain one XP. And one XP. And then and I gain one, one XP. XP. Awesome. There you all go. Right. Damn. Nicely done. So now... That's just for him, right? 
Yes. Okay. So, uh, I will double check. But starting with this turn, Aaron, you can play your ultimate to end the duel. Or you can go another round. I have a plus one speed bonus. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we? Should I do my ultimate now? Or should win, I try right? to get one more hit to do an additional three damage to him? Uh, Gain what? plus three damage. What's that just ultimate? means my hit. Well, the, the ultimate just interrupts the bash. He wins. Uh, next duel starts. Ruby may draw up to seven cards without discarding, and Ruby gains a total of three XP. Gotcha. So it just starts the next duel, and I'm assuming it goes to Calvin, and then he's the battler, and then we're dealing. Exactly. I start doing this stuff, and he's dealing with that. But uh, the ultimate wins, isn't it? The ultimate would cancel out whatever he has. Oh, okay. So yeah. It would interrupt whatever he has, and then but just end it. there's a chance that if he goes a little bit further, he could get a bonus three damage. I could deal three more damage to him, or we could not deal three more damage to him. That's the main thing. Okay, so let's do the snipers first. Man, that's a balance? A seven? <laughs> I guess. All right, so uh, Calvin, Yang? you need a lower than a six All by right. playing Soaring Uppercut. He need, yeah, give, give him that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I need that. <laughs> he, he, he need All right, so I need a five or lower. And three. Yes. three. Very good. Nice. Okay. So that's down to seven. Uh, does that... That's a thingy XP. happen. That's an XP now. If this stack does damage, refresh your semblance marker. Yes. I believe it does. Nice. <clears throat> Thank you. Yep. And Shane? Yep. You must roll lower than a four. What do you play? Sling net. Sling net. And Calvin, what did you play? Uh, I read his. Yeah. Okay. Come on, old buddy. Lower than a four. No, let me down. Anyway, that's a lot. Cracking. Lower than Feel a four. Feel my left elbow. Yeah. One, two, or three. One away. <laughs> no, it's there. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's clicking. <laughs> that's weird. Click, 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 click. Four. Oh, yeah. Damn. Ties. Ties Sorry, guys. Damn it. Fuck I, my I mean, you've been doing too good. So. Shane <laughs> takes 10 damage. No, it's not true. <laughs> 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 Damn, you're so you so <laughs> You have done this yourself. Right, so, this is a discard, right? Yeah, I just discard it. So, yeah. you're not playing your ultimate, right? I already did my... Uh, no, I'm not playing that, no. Okay, so we flip. All right. I'm playing a bullet storm, a ranged four. I did uh, Crimson Tornado, six melee dash. So, if yours is melee... This attack gains plus two speed against melee, making oh, it a six. no. And I win ties. Damn it. I don't think I have any range. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I got a ton. That's why I played it. Because you look like you had a scythe, and I figure it doesn't shoot like a gun blade. Well. It, it's not a gun scythe. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's also a gun. Damn it, Eric. This is the rule to all weapons in Ruby. <laughs> it's crazy. It's gun, also yeah. a gun. The guns in Ruby and <laughs> every, just everything. Every weapon is also a gun. All right. So, so I didn't know that. That's your ignorance. Yeah. But it worked out for you. Yeah, it did. did. Damn. All right. Dang it. I didn't realize there was going to be a range melee. I see it on the cards now. I, I'm learning this game. I'll get better. we got to beat Rick. Okay. Well, maybe me not knowing about anything about this show is starting to backfire. Because apparently these sights... These whips, they got guns. What? All right, so. Because that scythe is also a gun. I will get a plus one damage at the end of the round, so it won't happen less. But I do three damage to you, Aaron. Three damage? Damn. Yep. One, two, three. And I am now in Damn. bash range. <gasps> Bullet snore! Bow, 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 bow. He has a cane. That's. I know. That is. A gun. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's also a gun. <laughs> yes, it is also a gun. <laughs> So we'll start with Calvin. He needs to roll lower than a seven with bombardment. Oh, mm -hmm. that. oh bombard, bombard these snipers. Come on, Calvin. Come on. Bye. Yes, that works. Good job. Yes. All right, so down to a six on the sniper strike. Discarded. Thank you. Eric, you yep. need to roll less than a ten. ten. Quick slash. What? So just Quick don't roll slash. a ten. Just Quick slash. That's good. Seven. One. Oh, nice. Seven. Seven. Okay. <laughs> well, Would have been hilarious. Quick slash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it well, look, I saw the 10 like in motion. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It was right it was the on the right. side. Down to All a right. 5. Shane, Shane Blake. less than a 4. What's it called? Sling net. Sling net again. again. Why so low? Oh. It's just like in Smash. Go. When he misses one, the attack, two, he, he tries, just it again. tries it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this That's is a, you. This is, ten, this is a 10 sided die, right? Yeah. Yes. This is terrible odds. Yeah. He has a he has 3 tenths of a chance. Five. That's a miss. That makes sense. All right. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Five is the average. <laughs> so, Aaron, uh, what did your ultimate do? Um, interrupts, yep. bash, next duel. Ruby may draw up to seven cards without discarding, Ooh. and I gain three XP. Okay. And you do three points of damage, right? Oh, yeah, three damage. So, down to 51 points of damage. And so that ends this duel. 
Six. The duel is ended, and I get my semblance back. So uh, nice. <coughs> Ruby is now back on Aaron's thing. All of my trackers reset. Reset your semblances if you've used them. Yep. Unless you're uh, Yang. Yeah, which I already did. That's what I should have done. I should have utilized uh, Shane's thing on my last attack that I did. Yeah. yeah. We got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I think that went pretty well. I think we're looking pretty good. Uh, he has a lot of health still, but we all didn't take too much damage. Hopefully these henchmen don't start stacking up. Hopefully things go, go just keep going well. Yep, just wait on him. Okay. Good. Yep. <clears throat> uh, so, we'll do these first. We'll do Ruby against this henchman. Uh, did, did you want the stronger henchman or the weaker henchman? The stronger one, sure. Okay. All right, so, this henchman is a captain. Speed of seven. Call, when this is revealed, draw and play another minion. Damn, fuck. <clears throat> the bitch move. Yours is also an interrupt. Minions, for this round, all minions have minus one to their speed. Yeah. This uh, takes place before the attack takes place. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, he's at a minus one. You're an eight with Eclipse, so that wins. You do two points of damage, which doesn't kill him. Damn. He takes two hits. Damn it, Eric. I'm, I, I, was, I was trying to buff everybody, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> which you did. good. And you get an XP. I get XP. For j just attacking the minion. All right. And I don't take damage, so that's good. It doesn't matter which of you two goes next. I don't think so. <clears throat> okay, let's do Eric. So Eric played Faint. And this is an elite, so it gets a plus one, so that's a nine speed. <laughs> but it's Avoid, ignore one. all damage and effects against Weiss during this combat. Okay. So if I lose, I don't get hit. But Burst fire, when this is revealed, deal one damage to each hero. So you ignore it. But the rest of you take one damage. Damn. Damn Including it, Eric. Me? You fuck? Yes. I'm somewhere else, though. <laughs> Did you take your damage, Shane? No, I thought it, you guys had to play it out first. If you were successful. No, it's, it's, it's an no, immediate effect. Yeah, it's an interrupt. Well, goddamn. Um, but Eric, That's so a six. six versus a seven loses. So you don't hit him with your feint. He's a captain, level eight. Shane is fighting a mercenary, level six, or speed six. Which is a speed six because yeah. of the minus six one, the plus one. Yeah, because of the Curious George hat. So you play a five, Shane, which loses. But next round, you gain plus one speed and plus one damage with your shadow step. And I, well, I mean, uh, I also have one from right here. Is no, it... that stopped at the end of the last duel. Uh, yeah. So you need to, we need to make sure we use those. Yeah. Um, so like on your next attack, make sure you use the plus one, minus one, or whatever okay. it is. <clears throat> All right. Experience well, points. I tried to help. Uh, you miss, so no. Okay. And you miss. that's the best experience. Is when you lose. <laughs> what? When you fail, the you learn the best. <clears throat> All right. So this has not gone well. Not especially. So I hit. You did. So Calvin and I. Yeah. I played Dust Barrage Five. This attack gains plus one speed and damage against ranged attacks. Um. This range. is an explosive punch. Damn it's it. melee. Explosive she, punch. She has explosive gauntlets punch. with shotgun shells in but them, Rick. Uh, I was gonna say, gun. are they also a gun though? They have yeah, shotgun they, shells they in them. They are also guns. <laughs> yeah. She will like shoot her shotgun off and then go flying in a direction, like like, like Bakugo. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. But her, and then her semblance is as she takes damage, she gets stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. And she can hit harder. All right. So ten beats mine. Yep. Uh, so none, none of the rest of this happens. Um, and you do one point of damage. Yep. Okay. All right. And if if I had been helping my target ally, I would have gained one Go damage. One XP. Well, that's his assist thing, yeah. Yes. So I moved Calvin up one. Yep. I moved this Fury up one, and I moved my hit points down to 47. So <laughs> the benefit with that that's mine. is that if I had a 10, mm -hmm. the downfall is that that's a 10 too. But you can help give me a damage without lowering my speed. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to assist Calvin. Okay. Damn. My... I'm sad. You will see why in a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Eric with the snipers. Yep. I'm not, not going to do a combo. I'm going to assist. I know. It's, okay. It makes me sad. Okay. Uh, less than a seven. Arctic wins. That is a nine. Damn. That's a nine. Damn. I feel First like it's, I thought it was a six. I think it's the way he rolls it. I feel like it gives him it's bad luck. It's random. What do you mean? No, the way you roll it gives you bad luck. <laughs> There's no such thing. You, you just pick it up and you do this flick thing, and I'm like, it's so, why, it's why he does so terrible with rolling. Drop the dice and on 12. All right, so, so Shane, Shane, you're fighting, is fighting a seven. this six mercenary, which is a seven, with a nine. So that'll beat him. Yep. Uh, if you took damage last round, <laughs> this attack gains plus two. You didn't, correct? Uh, oh, Shane, you round. have a plus, though, from your card that you played last time. Yeah. 
Yes. Oh, shit. So it's a plus one speed and damage. So you're, you're he's a ten. So you will do two damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which will kill him. Awesome. Dead. And would, you get an XP. Would only one damage right. have killed him? No. Okay. And I, and so, this, good. And so those are gone. All of, yeah, these markers are gone. That's now. Pretty did he take? Did he take damage last time? He did, didn't he? I think he did. Yeah. Oh. Because he lost. Uh, it doesn't matter. It, you can't do more damage no. then, right? Nope. You can't kill him more. You can't. Okay. <laughs> Dismember him. I um, gave him XP with that. All right. Yes. You both got XP, no. so make sure you both went up you, one, right? You missed. Oh, yeah. You oh. missed. Yeah, I did. Shane yeah. went up one. When All do you right. get When Shane, do you, you get health back? If, if you, you yeah, rest. Don't okay. do anything. Huh? If you don't do anything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I played mm-hmm. Hidden Dagger. This attack gains plus two speed if the active player was not assisted or in part of a combo. Oh. So instead of an eight, it's a six. Oh. Awesome. Okay. Well, we definitely probably overkilled that. Yeah, thing. we did. <laughs> I gave him my sonic rush assist, which gave him a plus one speed and a plus one damage. Okay. And um, I also did my uh, rage semblance, which <laughs> gave me a plus one speed and a plus one damage. With So with his clout, it's a ten. or So how much damage? Um, a round. total of... Four? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four damage. Okay. One, two, three, four. Every we, all players draw a card. Yes. So the hero fury is a little weird. <coughs> if you had comboed, the combo damage does not move up the hero fury, but assist to. Basically only the dueling player's damage moves it. Okay. If that makes sense. But because he assisted you, that's your attack. Right. So I believe okay. it goes up. The rules are a little unclear, but I think that's how it works. Okay. So did we play it wrong last <coughs> duel? Uh, that's possible. Okay. okay. But you all drew a card. I did draw a card. And I'm sorry, how much damage was that again? Uh, that was one, uh, four. Right? Four. Yeah. Okay. Two, so two I am clout, down to 43. Points 43 hit points. Okay. And dang, my tracker goes up. And my hidden dagger missed. <laughs> All right, so let's see what uh, Rick does next. Yep. I think I'm reading this card right. Okay. So I'm going to do this. Against the captain? Against the captain and do a semblance. <gasps> All right. <coughs> Madness. I want to look at that one more time, make sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I think I'm right. Accidentally choose the wrong card or something. That'd be terrible. <laughs> uh, so that's everyone played, correct? Okay. So do we want to do the minions first? Yeah. For anybody? Okay. Um, does can, it matter? You can do him. All right, time. Shane, seven, a comma pistol, versus a six, Ooh. captain uh, with bloodlust. So when this card is revealed, the villain gains plus one damage bonus. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you win and do three points of damage, so that kills it. So you okay. get an XP. Great. And you killed the guy with the creepy creepy mask. Yeah, yeah, the bear Great. mask on. Yeah. Great. All right. Nice. All right, cool. And here's that for discard. Okay. Ruby, seven. Yeah. Versus six, I win! I had a semblance. Damn it! <laughs> which did a plus two, which is an eight. Um, area blast, if this attack hits, additionally deal one damage to all other enemies. Nice, okay, so that does the damage to this. It hits this and kills this, you get an XP. Okay. It will also Shane, do you... a damage to this. Because it could kill him, we reveal him. Okay. So this is a six thug with two health, so he's not dead. Okay. And it also reveals this one, which is a three mercenary with one hit point. And it kills him then. So it kills him. Good. Gotcha. Okay. Do I get XP for his death too? Uh, or just I, because of the one attack? I believe we all do. so. <laughs> I believe you get another XP. Okay. Shane, did you go up your one XP for this yep. guy? Okay, cool. Um, and he takes the damage as well. Yeah. Awesome. That's why I wanted Shane to attack the one guy who had two health or more. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's discarded your Crimson Tornado. Crimson Tornado. I just came in there. Like, ah. <laughs> okay. So now it's uh, the reveal. Mm-hmm. Explosive shot. 10 speed. Hmm. So I pay one aura, and I can lower the villain's speed by one. Mm-hmm. So nine Which speed. Nine. Calvin, what are you at right now? Eight? I'm in an eight. What happens uh, with one ties? I win them because of my gunship support. So, if this damages the active player, so I do two points of damage, mm-hmm. and I assume nothing stops it. Wait. Oh, never mind. I was going to no. say, this says that I, can, I may discard a card and gain plus two damage. But that that's but only it, if I it, I need to worry about the speed. Yeah. Um, Fuck. The active play player, this. if it damages the active player, I end the duel. Okay. So, it's a good thing you kill all those minions, because now they only do three points of attrition damage to Calvin. 
Okay, just a Calvin. That's yes, good. Because okay. he's the active player. Who? <laughs> okay. Oh, man. So I take three damage. Yes. Um, you're out. <coughs> All the stuff resets. And the snipers, because the duel ended without the villain being bashed, you take an additional four players. Four damage? Four damage. Everybody? Okay. Just him. Oh, just him. Just the active Damn. player. Damn, Calvin. Sheesh. What the so fuck So what are you, are you down doing? to, Calvin? I'm down to six. So when you're dead, you're just out of the game. Okay. And if I kill all of you, I win. Okay. That's not, not a good idea. Well, I'm at three XP with 11 Explosive health Explosive right shot. Beat. Shotgun gauntlets. Uh, with this failing, does it discard? It's just discarded. Yeah, discard yeah. it. That was just clout. <laughs> but because you assisted, even I though it didn't you. hit, you still get an XP. Assisting is special like that. All right. Things aren't going well. Uh, Calvin took a lot of damage. Those snipers really hurt. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I don't want to lose any of us because we're already kind of struggling with these henchmen. We got to take out a lot of health from Roman. Uh, it, and these snipers, they, they have 10 hits that we got to hit them for. So hopefully Shane's turn, we can kind of really bring it back. Like, man, this, this game is turning out to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Um, I don't know if I'm going to survive this next round. Um, if, I, if I have to focus more on the minions and the snipers and stuff, um, I'm going to have to seriously take a step back from the combat and do a bunch of rests. And uh, It doesn't s sound like as much fun, but I, I need to stay alive for my teammates. Um, Yang is a lot more of a utility character. Um, I do a lot of damage, but my speed is fairly low, so I have to focus on assists rather than combos most of the time. Um, I need to get XP so I can power up my cards. They're just not fast enough. Um, so that's probably what I'll be focusing on in this next round. All right. That duel went really well. I kicked Calvin's ass. My sniper shot his ass. He lost so much health. I'm going to kill Calvin. Uh, the rest of them are not all that far behind. I think I got this. Hmm. Wow. Too late now. I'm trying to remember yeah. if I got one when I did my assist. I can't remember. Okay. I don't think Blade's you did. Turn. All right. Everyone draws up to six, right? Yep. I dropped seven. And then you can still buy these. If yes, you, because yeah, it's the end yeah. of the duel. Even if you have six, right? Because these are different cards. You're going to replace one of the cards in your hand. Oh, okay. With it. Okay, so I got a bunch of cards. I'm trying to kind of save them until my turn. Um, but I got to keep remembering that we're all in the same team here, so I need to go hard every single turn, baby. So we need to finish all those snipers. I also drew a new event. <clears throat> Get down these henchmen. So be aware. Beware. So I'm going to go ahead and play my event. Um, Do it. Adlesian Paladin 290, which is like a big robot Dang it. thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Roman has plus one speed and plus one damage while this card is in play. As Roman takes damage, place damage on this card instead. After 10 damage, it's removed from the game. Jeez. So it's like a damn shit. So, so we can't do damage to you until we do damage to it? Exactly. We got to focus on that thing. It's like a little boss just showed up to fight the, to yeah. defend the boss. Yep. The boss got a boss. Mm. And I'm faster and do more damage. Mm. As long as that's out. Okay. I'm playing an aggressive card. You would. More. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so let's do snipers first. No, just keep it with you. Yeah. Eric, a 10, quick slash. So quick slash. just don't roll a 10. Eric? Oh my god! It's the flippy thing. You it's gotta, not. It's you gonna gotta be... roll it. I do. <laughs> it rolls in the air. See? No. Oh, you try. gotta roll it. You can't just flick it. Right. Look at. He got a nine flicking it. <laughs> That's a six. It's not a chance works. <laughs> it is. It is. It's a luck thing. It's not. It's, it's like whoosh whenever, thing. It's like when you're playing dice. You have the girl blow. They don't. They don't blow and then they flick it like uh, that. They <laughs> throw them. It's a one in ten chance. No, it doesn't work yes, that way. It does. No. <laughs> Depends how you drop it. It doesn't. It does. Because I've seen it. I've seen it work that way. You haven't. Here we go. You've seen Casino Royale. <laughs> so what you got? Eight speed. Fuck. Merciless Strike. All right. What does that mean? Um, I, I gain plus one speed bonus at the end of the round. Okay. So, so it, it doesn't apply to this. Shane. You got Which that. A, a pounce. Uh, and then. I went down. And then he's nope. assisting. Which I give him a plus two speed. Damn. And then I was uh, comboing with my ballistic recoil, which... Uh, you may discard a card to gain plus three speed, which I was discarding this guy. Okay. And I was also using this thing. Wow. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just says Shane did a pounce and Calvin <laughs> did a battle charge. Yeah. 
Yep, and I did a ballistic recoil. Okay, so that beats me. I deal four damage. Whew. Oh, that's only for speed. And Shane four, does... Five, six. Yeah. <coughs> Ouch. So that thing takes the damage from Roman, so that goes down to four, right? And Two. we don't go up at all, right? Yeah, Roman's going to be a little butt sore terrible. now. This is terrible. No, he's not. He's completely Six. safe right now. Yeah. Can you give Shane a uh, plus one speed It's fucking armor. robot armor he has so, on. Okay. Next uh, but you all do get XP. All one except XP Eric. stays there. Okay. We didn't read it after the last round either. <coughs> huh? We, we were reading our aura and our XP. Yep. I read mine, and then Rick interrupted me, and then no one else did it. <laughs> yeah. I played Battle Charge. <laughs> And since it was the first round of the duel, the active player, which was Shane, gained a plus two speed. I'm going to play a subtle card this time. And Shane played Pounce. Uh, and if the attack landed, which it did, he gains a plus one speed for next round. Yeah. So I can fight this captain now? So are we ready? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, captain. So He's uh, a nine. Yep. And you are a ten. Yep, Rose Thorn. Rose Thorn. Yep. And if, if the stack kills a minion, the active player gains plus one fury. So this moves up one. Mm-hmm. Yay, we Yay, went somewhere. Good job. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm helping. Thank you, Aaron. Um, Eric rested, so now we'll do this. All right. So I played a subtle attack. Which is gonna... Dust Grenade. This attack automatically deals one damage to all heroes attacking Roman. So if you're assisting or comboing, it'll hit Dang. you as well. Okay. So Are we attacking Roman? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're attacking the robot guy. Well, no. Ooh. He's just wearing Does that robot. count? I'm pretty sure it counts. Oh. That's what I'm saying. But it's a two. Yeah, you're it's, attacking it, yeah. Roman. Well, the robot guy is a shield. It's a That's four. ridiculous. It's a four. It's not. He's wearing a robot outfit. Yeah. It's huge. He's inside it. Yeah, he's inside now it. Now it's, so huge. Huge. It looks like, <laughs> it's like a Gundam or something. It's a separate entity. <laughs> so four right. speed, which you probably beat. Yeah, so flip yours. Flip it. Go ahead. That's yours. It also doesn't do any damage. Oh. And... If an attack does not do damage, it cannot be made to do damage. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So even if you were to win, there wouldn't be more damage. Exactly. Being but everyone took one automatically. Yeah. So that sucks. All right. Okay. So Shane so used comma pistol. Okay. Uh, which is a speed of seven plus a uh, one speed from last attack. Yep. Yeah, we'll, yeah. And he did three damage. Okay. And I did pummel, Ooh. which is a nine speed. All right. And since I'm uh, attacking. Again, in last round, I attacked with a punch attack. I gained plus one damage as well. So, so he what's does the total of five? A five. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so there was four left, I think, right? Yeah, Rick, yeah. you got to take four off of this, right? Yeah, oh, you got to take I'm four sorry. off put it on the two. Yeah. You're right. Uh, but you destroy the robot. It's mm-hmm. destroyed. And then two and damage. Then one damage to Roman. One damage to it. Um, you both get XP? Plus one XP. <gasps> Ooh, I got Did you move my thing over, well. Kevin? I moved your damage okay. thing. Kevin almost moved it again. Uh, Villain's <laughs> Fury moves up. I like, I'm moving this. <laughs> okay. That was the first round, right? No, the second. That was the second round. So, point. Okay. I'm going to play subtle. Are you going to attack the big guy? Yeah. Okay. He, he gets a buff. A buff. You know that, right? It's a plus with one, my, With my semblance. So, oh, okay. uh, Eric. Yep. Fighting the six thug with impale eight. <laughs> if this d- damage the man didn't destroy it. Okay. So well, it's it does. Dead. So that's an XP. Eric. XP for Eric. Good, Eric. Good. <laughs> uh, Calvin is yep. going to fight an elite mercenary four. Oh, five. So he's a five. Mm-hmm. Call when this card is revealed, draw and play another minion. Damn it. That's fucking. So five <coughs> versus five. Well, he used but his semblance. Is a six. Is a six. Next round, you gain plus one speed. Thank you. So he used battle charge, Calvin. Battle yep. charge. Uh, and that does three damage, which kills this guy. So XP. Good. Mm-hmm. One XP. And one less minion to worry about. Your Alrighty. semblance is flipped over, and that's your discard. So now me and Shane will combo. Go. Subtle trick shot. This attack receives double the effect of Roman's speed bonus. Jesus. Uh, Roman gains plus one speed at the end of the round. So it's a plus four, plus three is seven. Okay. And uh, well, I'm a seven because Eric. Well, no, he, yeah. he it won't. That doesn't do he anything. Wins but ties. yeah, so he we lose anyway. So, me and Aaron's plan didn't work. We failed, but it's okay, because I'm pretty sure we're going to win this thing. I don't think Rick knows what he's doing. Uh, that's two points of damage to you, Shane. All right. Uh, Damn it. Damn. And I go up one. You see? It's a good thing, because we would have lost that, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Trick <coughs> shot. Bang, bang. All right. Next round. I don't have any more elites left. That's something. Well, yay. We almost... 
We're not, we're not we're at a bash thing. I don't know what bash is. Do you have a card that just bashes every time? No. So now if I hit and do damage, I win the duel. So we can't lose. Okay. I thought you had a card too. Uh, I do. For, for example, gotcha. I played that one. Remember that? All right. Explosive so Shane, shot you or whatever. cannot lose. Okay. You, you just can't. <laughs> <laughs> the exchange, right? but not the game. Because I don't want to lose a game. <laughs> no, you won't lose the game as a result of this. But you, you, you could rules the one, two, the three, four, five, six. You need to deal six damage so that the next turn you can play an ultimate. That's what we need to do. Oh, six damage. Well, I play a subtle card. I'm scared to step. Oh no. <laughs> All right, no. are we ready? Uh, I am going to assist. Okay. You're gonna assist. You got anything yeah. to assist? I'm he's fighting, fighting, he's fighting something. Oh, yeah. so. Which will God. damage if it wins. So let's do his first. Eric, frozen shards, a five versus a four thug. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Ari, this deals one additional damage to all other enemies. So this kills this thug. Yep. This four. Yep. Uh, with last shot. Oh, this happens. When this card is revealed, deal, deal two damage to the attacker. So you take two damage, Eric. That's fine. So that happens first. But he has um, one damage to everything. Yep. Everything. So this one could die, so it gets revealed. It's a seven speed thug with two hip, with three hit points. Dang. Okay. Oh, wow. uh, other minions have plus one speed while this card's in play. Dang, gone it, Eric. For this thug. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so, other minions, so attack that one first. So the, this one takes one because that couldn't possibly kill it. We don't reveal. We don't reveal them. That's fine. Okay. okay. There's God, that. Does a sniper take damage? It's all other enemies. No, he doesn't count as an enemy. He counts yeah. as a, but, a what about challenge. What about the main, okay. about Roman, the main guy? Roman, Roman takes one. Yes, right? he damage. So he is down to forty-one. Okay. And uh, any other like you know just random things out there that I don't like gets damage. Exactly. So I play double down, which is a speed of five plus three is eight. eight. If this attack hits, draw and play another attack immediately. Oh geez. Okay. Wow. And it automatically hits. So Shane, what's yours? It is uh, ten. Arrow. Apex Predator. Apex Predator. Um, All right. If you're the active player, gain plus one fury at the end of this round. Okay. And uh, depilate. But that's an assist, so don't worry about that. Oh, is that only yeah. a... Yep. Yeah. So okay. uh, flip mine, which mine's a nine. A crescent strike. This attack gains plus one damage when used in a combo. Okay. Still one up. So that's three damage. And I am assisting. So uh, target ally, which is Shane, gets to draw two cards. Great. Okay, so that's three points of damage. So you all draw a card. I'll draw a card. Good. So I draw three. Well, you, you draw, draw whatever four. he said. Or no, yeah, three. You draw however many he said, and okay. then you draw one for my red. little pile here. We had you yeah. reshuffle your discard. Okay. Reshuffle your discard. Mm -hmm. and make sure you don't accidentally shuffle your <coughs> upgrade deck. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna play an aggressive card. I can do two more, and, this and I only have uh, three cards left. But the duel will end before I run out of cards, mm. and I'll win automatically. So. We have to do three damage to get that ultimate off well, I still have, before right. two more rounds. Exactly. All right, so there let's do Calvin's minion first. That at least covers us Yeah. in all scenarios. He is fighting the seven thug with the frenzy with a nine plus, plus one. Speed. If you hit with a punch attack last round, deal an extra damage. It doesn't matter. You kill it anyway, <laughs> so you get an XP. Should have attacked that guy with a ten. <laughs> I didn't know what he had. Did you get an XP, Calvin? <laughs> uh, I have not yet. And the rest of you are all ganging up on poor little me, right? Yeah. Did I, where's my, my assist right there? Where's your assist, Eric? Uh, it's under. Uh, under me? Okay. All right. Flip me over. Flip me off. What? Okay. <laughs> Dust Barrage. Dust Barrage! Is a five speed. Plus uh, three. Plus three. So a total of eight. This uh, attack goes, gains plus one speed and plus one damage against, against ranged, ranged attacks. attacks. Okay. So as long as yours isn't a range attack. So Shane's is a melee attack Damn. with a 10 speed. Oh. Uh, if you are the one. active player, gain plus one fury at the end of this round. You had me fooled. <laughs> I did. I said fuck, didn't you I? You did. <laughs> and right. flipping over. And then my assist is a plus one speed. Plus one and speed. And mine is a negative one speed to rare. Negative one okay. Speed. Now, wait, yeah. is that a negative one speed or a negative one uh, bonus? It's a negative one speed this round. Okay. Because sometimes they lower the bonus, yeah. too. Yeah. All right. So that hits. That hits. How much damage? Um... <coughs> one, see. one, but then it were... also goes up another fury for uh, whatever, right? For this effect, yeah. So it goes so up, it's two, right? two fury, but, but one only damage. one damage. Yeah. Okay. Man, I've been holding on to that ten for a long time. So Shane gets a plus one speed, which won't matter if he does the ultimate. Yeah, because you got to do the ultimate next yeah. turn anyway. So down to thirty-seven damage. Okay. So uh, Eric snipers <laughs> a six faint. Avoid all damage and effects against Weiss during this combat. 
so that doesn't matter. Roll under a six. Six. That is a fail. There's one time when he finally decides to roll it. And it's great, it's and it works. Not how chance works. <laughs> and he'll be like, man, I can't believe I've been doing uh, it wrong so all these Shane, years. your ultimate? What uh, does it do? Uh, interrupt bash. Uh, the three damage. Blake gains a total of five experience points. Okay, so you gain five experience points. Okay, so I take one, three damage, so I'm down to 34. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. And this is discarded. That ends that duel. So Shane gets his mini round. This. Jeez, these are... All these go back down to plus zero. Good. Good. And I draw up to six. I get three henchmen. Three. I'm going to play a balanced card. All right, I'm going to buy this uh, Northern Lights for five, so that puts me down to one. Okay. And that goes in my hand. It does. Yep. And it replaces a card. In your yes. Hand. It doesn't need to replace the same card either. So I don't know what card you discarded, but it, it didn't have to be Northern Lights. All right, so I want to buy two cards. It's ten altogether, so it takes me from 14 to a four. Damn. Okay. And uh, do I got to get rid of two cards here? Yes. Okay. I am upgrading my Salica Blast. Okay. okay these are just Your ultimate? Gone. My ultimate, yes. This is a gone okay. pile. <coughs> no, that's not a good place for Some of these are good, but I don't know which one I want. Yeah, just put it under <laughs> your mic stand. Just well, like. something that costs equal to or less than six. Well, I'm, they're, they're all five. <laughs> except for your ultimate. My ultimate. So I'm not going to do that one. So he is a six, a thug, with call when he's revealed, draw and play a minion. Man, they all have this. Apex Predator, a ten, so that wins. You're not the active player. So it deals one point of damage. He, he has three. Two. Oh, he has three because of the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's that. All right. There's the alarm. Okay. Yep. We, do we want to finish this? Yep. Okay. Yeah. All, All right. right. So reveal me with Ringleader. Which is a five speed. Uh, this attack gains speed equal to the number of minions in play. One, two, three, four, five. Which is a ten. If you would have attacked a sniper, there would only been four. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> no. All right. All right. So Eric's attack is northern lights, speed of five. But since I'm assisting him, he gains a plus two since it's the first round of well, a duel. You're also skipping that. He has an interrupt for the rest of the duel. Your Ice attack ice gain a plus, plus two, two speed. speed. And is this an ice attack? It is not. It is not. It, it says attack, ranged. But, yeah. but okay. it takes that's for the rest out. of the duel. Yeah. Which is quite good. So it still takes effect at least. Yeah. Okay, Roman, i.e. Rick. Let's see what happens when I get plus two on all my ice attacks. Glyph. Is the editor putting a glyph in? I hope he is or else it looks stupid. And I never look stupid. So I do two points of damage to you, Eric. Okay. I move up one. And here's two tokens to remember. Go ahead and give me that so I can keep yeah. that out. All right, well, things are not going well right now. Time to switch gears. Well, that did not go well for me. Here we go. Right <sighs> Got your back. Subtle. Doobie doop, doobie doop, doobie doop. He's doing a subtle. Can you put it on the board, please? Well, subtle hmm. is generally low in terms of... So what are you trying to do? Speed. We got a lot of attacking to make up for. Okay. So let's do Shane's first. So you mind. Let's do Ruby first. <laughs> so Ruby, uh, Eclipse, an eight speed versus a six speed thug. Minions for this round, all minions have minus one speed. This effect triggers before their attack takes place. Ooh, interesting. And wow. it kills this minion. Yeah. So that's an XP for you, Aaron. That helps that's out. That's awesome. Shane. Mm -hmm. And this one that Shane is fighting was a three, but now it's a two. <laughs> uh, Shane with an 8 reprisal get your XP before you forget uh, Thug melee call when this is revealed draw and play another minion I hate, I hate, that. I hate that so much call, man. Um, counter if this attack hits it deals damage equal to the speed difference which is That's 5 a big speed difference so yeah. kills him 6 6 damage 6 alright jeez I didn't know I did that Yeah, I told him to do one of the big ones <laughs> <laughs> alright but, but if you had done one of the big ones it might not have killed it Wow. Right. It would have yeah. reduced one. Okay, so that's two henchmen gone. Now we have. Well, then you the add, added one. Yeah. So there's one henchman gone. All right. So Maniacal laughter is a taunt speed of one. Uh, Roman gains plus one speed bonus and plus one damage bonus at the end of the round. Yep. Okay. So you just you're basically taking I'm, hits to yeah, get stronger. Okay. To build up. And Eric played uh, seven speed Arctic winds. It's an ice attack, so he gains plus two speed 
on top of it. Mm -hmm. uh, stagger, if the attack hits the villain, lower the villain's speed and damage bonuses by one each. God damn it, Eric. Yep. Come on. And <laughs> with my assist, I give a target ally two cards. Which would be me. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently Eric is goddamn sub-zero. He's got all these pluses for these ice attacks. All of his attacks seem to be ice attacks. He's just kicking my ass. Okay, this is what I was trying to focus on. Um, assisting Eric, trying to give him more attack cards that he can use with his power-up that he's using. Um, if I can just keep him supplied with good cards and stuff, we can roll through the damage and, and keep getting that uh, racked up there because it's not really going to help us a whole lot getting that plus three damage if I'm damaging him and Eric's not getting the, the fury on his attacks that we need. Um, but yeah, hopefully this works out. Things are getting really close down to the wire. Uh, we're not looking terrible in health. Calvin still isn't the best. So if I can just keep helping Eric, comboing, taking out all these uh, henchmen and stuff, like I have these minus ones to speed and stuff like that and damage to everybody, I'm gonna utilize that and try to help this the best I can. So what you would have gained, you've now lost. Yes. Yes. Yep. Ooh. And he took great. So you've gained nothing uh, and lost damage? everything. Two damage, yes. So right. two damage. Taking two damage. And this goes up two, right? Yes. And then this goes down one, two. Yep. All right. Damn it. And this goes up two, right? Or did... That was already there, wasn't it? No, I just moved it. Okay. So it is where it should be. I'm going to play an aggressive this time. Okay. So Calvin played a seven bombardment oh, ranged. I wanted to do this as well. I forgot. Sorry. Reckless. If this attack fails, you suffer an additional damage. Wait a minute. That's. I'm sorry. No, I didn't want to. I'm sorry. Okay. I thought it was a different card. I will reveal this henchman who is a five mercenary. Overwhelmed. This attack gains speed equal to the number of other minions in play. So... No, wait, I did want to play this. <laughs> I don't want to play that, no. The other what in play? This the attack gains speed equal to the number of other minions, which isn't that much, actually. It's, it's worse. One, two, three. Yeah, which makes it a total of nine. Because it says this, it gains speed. That, that doesn't mean a plus, does it? Gain? Gain is an addition, too, isn't it? Yeah, I mean... Or, I mean, it's not, it starts with a base, and then it gains. Yeah, it's gaining. It's not changing okay. its speed. All right, so that uh, is a nine, then. Unfortunately, it gains speed. It doesn't say, like, at the end of the round no, or anything it, like that. It's an interrupt. Yeah. All right, so that's a nine speed, which beats Calvin's seven bombardment. And you suffer an additional... So three damage, well, right? You will suffer three damage. Well, that's not good. The snipers? I need that, please. Uh, you just need to not roll a ten with your Rose Thorn ranged attack. Six. Very good. Down so to go four tunk. for the snipers. <laughs> Shane. And Shane, you played a nine Avenger. If you took damage last round, this gains plus two damage, which doesn't matter. Two. A two. Two. So snipers are down to three. Okay. And now okay. let's make sure you go one XP, Shane. Yes, one XP. Dang it, and Shane, let's stop. reveal Dragging uh, your arms. arms. So we have uh, mocking blow. Uh, which has a provoke. If this attack deals damage, all minions in play gain a plus one damage token. Okay, and mine is... A damn. nine. A nine plus two. So it's With an ice 11. attack, so 11, yeah. Uh, you may discard this card, may discard a card and gain plus two damage. Which I will. Okay. I will so, discard. Yeah. So that's going to do three damage to me. Mm -hmm. Which I'm not happy about. If someone else besides me could... Make that happen on the board. So this goes up three. one, up three. two, three. Everyone will draw a card. This goes one, two, three. Down Next to 29. I'm draw everyone draws a card, have you said? Yep, yep. everyone Here's draws a card. This card. It says all players draw a card. I'm a player. No, <laughs> you're a villain. <laughs> what? Oh. All right, I'm going to play balanced. All right, so Calvin rest. Uh, Shane needs to roll under a nine with his Avenger for the snipers. So no nine, no ten. Four. Oh. Every time. All right, so You're sniper is down to two. And now and we fight. You, your XP goes up. Did you draw and do your stuff, Calvin? Mm -hmm. So Rick has a duelist, speed six. Uh, has a counter. If this attack hits, it deals damage equal to the dif to the speed difference between Roman and the hit hero. So that's okay. a speed of seven. That's a seven total. All right. Mine is a speed of five, but six, seven, eight. Damn it. Yeah. Uh, if this attack hits, additionally deal one damage to all other enemies. Okay. 
So all anim enemies will go down one already. And you were comboing? Also, yep. because uh, I had damage while using this, I get to pick up a card. Huh? And um, with as part of my semblance. If, I, if I'm su successful with my semblance, I'm, I've already caused it. Damage well, already. wait till this flips yeah. technically, but yeah, it's yeah. going to hit because um, I have an eight. Aaron's card, uh, Sniper Shot, uh, has an effect. If this attack hits the villain, lower the villain's speed bonus by one and also does two damage. Eric, no. Or Aaron, no. Yep. So My speed. So that's total, two damage. A total no, did, the, did the snipers take damage six too? Six damage. No. Like, does that count as a turn? No, that's what I wonder. So six damage total? Yeah. Six damage total. But four done by Eric. Yeah, so it moves up four. One, two, three, four. So okay. you gain one speed, Eric, and you gain one XP. Here's a speed. Well, oh, actually, you gain a second XP if you didn't, because you have yeah. that. So. Yeah, an additional. <clears throat> and so that revealed um, two henchmen, a seven speed captain that now has two hit points left, and a seven speed mercenary with daze uh, who has one hit point left. If this attack deals damage, the player must discard a card. So if he hits you. You must discard a card. Balanced. Uh, Shane, roll under a seven with comma pistol. One. Okay, it's down to one. Calvin, roll under a ten with explosive punch. Good. Seven. seven. Good. Okay, so you each get four good. XP for defeating the snipers. That's a good roll, Calvin. Good. All right. Me? Uh, yep. I'm using... Capitan. Crimson Tornado. Okay. With my Semblance. ability here, which gives me a plus two speed. Okay. So. Eight versus seven. Yep. So I'll beat him. Yep. It takes two damage. Ooh. And then my area blast happens, which if this. Kills this one. Attack hits, additionally deal one damage to all other enemies. All right. So that kills this one. It damages this one. He's dead. And he will flip over. Because it could possibly kill him. <laughs> yes. And, and it did and kill he him. he dies. Yes. Um, but this still happens. When this card is revealed, deal one damage to each hero. So the captain. So everyone takes one damage? Yeah. Speed of eight, burst fire, does one damage to each hero. Right. But he is okay. dead. Do I get one XP? Yes, you do. Okay. Now let's do the center. Oh, yeah. All right. So okay. he has yeah, yeah. a three boot kick, which if the active player's ultimate is ready, this attack gains plus four. So it's a four, five, six, seven. I'm not doing my ultimate. So no, but well, no, it's ready though. Your ultimate's ready. Oh, okay. So he gains a plus four. Seven speed against a nine. Damn. Uh, which, and 10, 11, 12. Which, right. Twelve. Because yeah. I have an extra one oh, from wow. last round. Uh, you may discard a card to gain plus two damage. Yep. Which I'm going to discard. Now I got plus two damage. So how much? So is, is that, that three so damage? Three damage. Which puts him so one, one, two, two, two three, three. Okay. Two XP. And I assume and another XP for winning. Yep. And I assume you'll use your ultimate this round, but you guys can still take an action. I will definitely be using... Uh, move uh, me one. over one. Mm -hmm. And you get Fact. a plus one damage bonus. Yeah, which won't matter. Yeah. All right, so there's one more of these guys. He's a six. He needs two more damage to die. Three um, more. <clears throat> right? Oh, yeah, Four. he's five. He needs three more damage to die. I can take him. <sighs> Eric's playing his ultimate. I've got one more turn. I have a dash buff, and I have a dash card. I really don't want to lose these. I'm going to be the next person against Rick. I want to buff my attacks the best I can. So I'm going to, I'm, I guess I'll heal the one hit point I'm missing. I kind of want to save these. Well, I will. Rest. So I might rest, if well. that's okay. We, I can't combo or assist Eric. He's using his ultimate. So there's only that guy. The snipers are gone. Do, we Do you think you can take him okay? That? I can take him, yeah. Okay. As I long as you kill him, him then I'll rest, I'll rest well. and draw a card. Okay. Yeah. So you I really rest. need to rest, but... I'm going to rest. Calvin. Calvin, I appreciate your sacrifice. Does three points of damage uh -huh. with eight clout. Mm -hmm. So that kills him. So I'm out of mercs. Good. This is the first time we've had all the henchmen dead. Yep. What's yeah. the ultimate? My ultimate you gain one XP. is uh, interrupt bash, uh, Weiss heals one aura, Kay. and gains a total of three XP. Uh, and then it's three damage plus three damage. Yeah, that's six, six. damage. Six. Shit. Um, when you rest, you get to draw a card. Did you say that earlier? Yes. Four, yes. Five, okay. Or six, discard a card. So down to nineteen. Damn. Um, Damn. It's Woo, all falling apart. Round. Great all right. round. That was good. So Eric, uh, yes. you take your mini off the board. Now it's back to Ruby. So I draw to six cards. I also draw draw lose my awesome Northern Lights card, right? Because yeah. that's the end of the. Yeah. The that gets discarded. You do. You can all upgrade. 
I get three more henchmen, which I only have two, so I might shuffle. See. Most likely I'm not going to get to my ultimate again. All right, I am going to start with a balanced card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight damage gets me the ultimate. Yep. Like, doubling that kills him. So we could kill him this duel. Well, and your ultimate will do six damage if you get to the end of the track. Yeah. All right, so we'll do Calvin first. All right. With his semblance, a six soaring uppercut versus a five, six thug. So that's a tie, but this increases your that's speed. It's a seven then, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and damage. If this attack deals damage, refresh your semblance marker. Yep. Cool. So I do four damage. You do four, which kills it. Mm-hmm. <coughs> cool. So you go up an XP. Yep. Shane, eight pounce versus three for the thug, but overwhelm this minion gains speed equal to the number of other minions in play. Which is only one other. Yep. Mm-hmm. So it's a four. And it does two, which kills him. Good. Oh, yeah. Good job, guys. Shane, and is go there up. a bonus on that, like a speed bonus or something? I'm not sure. And then uh, go up one XP. Plus next one's, round. Plus one so speed. Next there. round, you get plus yeah. one. And then go up one XP, too. Oh, no. All right. So then us. So he played an eight gentleman's duel. This attack loses speed equal to Roman speed bonus. Rather than gaining speed, which so I have none. Just, so it just has eight. none. So it's an eight. So I have no. nine. <laughs> but interrupt thing is for the rest of the duel, your dash attacks gain a plus one speed. Okay. And Eric's is ice spear. Is this a this which attack is a, is a plus combo. one damage Damn. when used in a combo? So one, two, three, four damage total. Not happy about this. And one, how two, much is dealt by three, you, Aaron? Four, uh, one, one. Oh, I can't reach. And that goes up there, right? All, all right. right. That's great. But so now all of my dash attacks keep that in play. Are, all of his dash attacks for the rest of the duel are increased, yeah. <clears throat> Another balance card. Whirling Death Storm. Yeah. It's a hell of a card. I know. I don't remember you uh, saying that name. Move. I'm sorry, yeah. That was my <laughs> that was my move, which was Whirling Death Storm. For the rest of the duel, your dash attacks gain a plus one speed. It also had a leadership assist that all allies gain a plus one speed this round. That's not bad. Yeah. Sweet. All allies. Yeah. All right. So combo. All right. Supporting card plus the singer revolver. All right. Flip it over. All right. Uh, do this. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, do that one first. Uh, so Eric played five frozen shards. Aerial blast, if this hits, additionally deal one damage to all other enemies. Okay. And it's versus a five. Overwhelm, this attack gains speed equal to the number of other minions at play. There are Zero. none. So it ties, so nothing happens. Well, this is a new uh, round. I can use my symbols, can I? Or do I you have, have to do that You before? have to declare it beforehand. I, before. I would have done it if I remembered. I will let you do it. Yeah? If, it gives me a plus one speed. If you were going to do it. I was. I, mean, I just kind of forgot that it was not my turn anymore. It's now a new turn. Yep. All right. So uh, it still doesn't die. Yeah. But I get a... It, it loses health, though, yep. right? It loses three health. It's three of the four. Roman loses a health because he's another enemy. And you uh, gain an XP. I gain XP, and I get to pick up a card uh, because I cause damage. Okay. All right. So we have a four here from... Frenzied Assault, Roman gains a plus one speed bonus and a plus one damage bonus at the end of the round. So he, so it's a four now. Yeah, it's a four. But it, will be, it would be a, okay. So that's a four. Mine is a five, which is a six, and you may discard a card to gain three speed, but I don't need to do that. Yep. Yeah. And then I have a combo thingy from mm-hmm. Shane, right? Combo is a... So eight he's an speed eight speed with four damage. Damn. And then an assist from Calvin, which is two. Which gives you two extra cards. So I draw two cards. What are the mm-hmm. names of these cards? Uh, outmaneuver was mine, okay. and Assail was Shane's. Yeah. And then mine was Ballistic Recoil. Mm-hmm. I draw two cards? Yes. So that does how much damage? Seven? Um, one, two, three, four for Aaron, and then one, two, three, four for Shane. So a total of eight but four from the main player. One, okay. One, two, you don't do damage to Gavin? Three, four, no. Five, six, oh. seven, eight. I wasn't comboing. I was just assisting. So you're down to six points in. Uh, all players six draw a card. Points. Every player oh, draw everyone draws a card. card? Yep, we went past that. I so. go up one XP. Yep. Uh, well, uh, everyone but Eric goes up one my, XP. My speed and damage still go up one. Yeah. yeah. One. Thank God. Uh, does that go up one? And actually, I should be here. Does, so this, go, does that, this go up that one? That should go up one. To two? Yeah. Okay. And, and then you go to two. speed should go up another one. Discard. What's that? Discard? Okay. Well, I got six hit points left. I'm doomed. I'm just gonna hope that he just has sucky cards left. I'm gonna play this one. If it hits, does some damage, automatically get to play another one, do more damage, try to knock him out, uh, and maybe survive another round. Alright, we're down six 
six points, six HP. Uh, we've got, I think everyone, everyone's gonna come together. I think we've got this. My only worry is if Rick has some kind of little trick up his sleeve, but I, I think he's relying on his plus two speed and plus two damage that I'm gonna be negating. All right, Aaron, I have one of those. We're gonna play a okay. subtle card. A subtle card? <laughs> All right, so we ready? That's going there. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna flip over for Shane first. Okay. Pounce, um, eight, does two damage, so kills it. Okay, dead. Do you wanna use yours <coughs> on one of us to make sure that we don't take any damage or anything? Semblance, yeah. Um, no. Or no. I would save it, and because if he goes up, the next one's gonna be a bash, and then that can stop yeah. him from doing a bash True. next okay. time. I can. All right, let's flip over. All right. So Rick's subtle card, card is... is double down. If this attack hits, draw and play another attack from Roman's deck that attack hits automatically. Dang. Dang. So what's Wait, it's a five speed. Plus five two. Speed. Plus two. Seven. Which is a seven. So I have Sonic Rush, which is a dash, so it gets a plus one. It's a five, so it's a six. That sounds good. Disrupt. Ignore all target speed and damage bonuses this round. Woo! And I gave it my semblance of plus two speed, so it's a six, seven, eight. Yep. I'm at I. So you are a five now. Yeah. So are you assisting or? I am combo? comboing. So he has an eight, okay. nine, a nine, nine, and I also do one extra damage. So he has three damage there. I have three damage there with his, what's it called? Clout. Clout, yep. Clout and Sonic Rush, and Eric has a ten. Which is a quick, quick slash. slash of one. Just Which is a total one. of seven, seven damage. damage. Seven damage. Three from you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Three, no. three from you. No. <laughs> but he died. But you're in yeah. ultimate phase. You and could. You I, win. I play it and kill him. Yeah. We, we won? Yeah, you, you win. win. All right. Everything's, we killed everything. Yeah. Shane killed everything. the last minion. We killed the, the boss there. Killed the snipers. Yeah, team killed the beat. snipers. Killed everything. We won. Victorious. No one died. Good leader. Things went well. Cal and I comboed the heck out of Rick in that first duel. Sadly, Calvin's duel didn't go so well. Shane's duel went decent. Eric's duel went really well with his plus two ices and wrapping it up, finishing off Roman. We did a good job. Good job, team. Suck it, Rick. So good you job, would technically Rick. get another 10 experience points, <laughs> which if we For were playing campaign. A, a campaign game, you could spend. In between, which we also so gained. you could kind of play this like a legacy game, yeah. Like keep track of it, come back to it like the next time, yeah. And kinda. like here's where we're at. This is kind of cool. Like I just like working together. Yeah, yeah. I love combo. Uh, like and also like you don't have I just to kept play mixing this. up combo assist like the the speed like yeah. This, yeah. This, this, this is speed right? Yeah, and the, the way the game works too, like it can be done like a no. two combo to five two. players is how it's set up, right? Uh, you can play with one player, but you don't like yeah. It doesn't need a person to play the bad guys. No, it, yeah. it doesn't. So Rick was playing the bad yeah. guys, but you can also it also just auto so, play the bad yeah. guys the other way. The normal game is having the you, you draw it. Yeah. So you see what he's going to play, you know he's going to play a subtle and then you just flip it over. Gotcha. Okay. Is how it works. The normally. other way of doing it is giving you cards and you can kind of choose yeah. your strategy and stuff. Yep, there's also different difficulty levels with um, because <laughs> so this is medium. His medium ones, but he has other ones as well that he could play. So the um, cool idea you could do is like do the easy ones first mm -hmm. and then like he, you beat him, but he got away. Yeah. And then he came back tougher, but you're stronger too. Sure. Right. You With his minions him, and, you fight and him stuff again, like that. Yeah. yeah. That could be kind of a fun way to play through this. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. I really enjoy the game. The game's fun. I mean, the only thing that wasn't great in, in this round is just the, the learning curve. Yeah. Once sure. I figured out what I was doing, yeah. I definitely, the game's going a little faster. If, Once if you anything, it's just like, waiting for people to make decisions. Yeah. yeah. Once you understand what cards can do what and how they interact and stuff like that, Yep. It's a it's a lot more fun of a yeah. game. But it, it is a complicated game. It is, I, it I is fairly I complicated. Got it pretty but good by the end there. I think the yeah. thing that's kind of fun with it too is that it's not like, like Rick has a turn and then we take a turn. Yeah, and, and that's it. Yeah. You know, it's not like all right, you okay now your turn sure. now your turn. Yeah. I, I feel like that would slow it down even more. Mm -hmm. It's just like you do it. You it's do pretty it. fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was that was a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. So yeah. I don't know anything, yeah. I don't know anything about these people, but I love really like the game. Yeah. You check out Ruby. It's not Lords of Waterdeep. This should be released by the time we have stuff, right? So should we just say like? Should be. Okay, guys, it should be some Ruby some right Ruby now yeah. on our on over on YouTube and or early access somewhere over there. So make sure you guys check that out. Um, there should be more of it coming. Mm -hmm. That's what is it, volume? What is it, six? Volume five. Six. Six. six? Volume six. Volume six yeah. Now that we're on five. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the Ruby game night that we did. Yeah. Make sure you guys enjoy the Ruby reaction that we do. Yep. And just have some fun with some more Ruby stuff. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye. Anymore. Thank you. The game's really fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, 
I really like an idea of playing through it in almost a legacy fashion where you could keep track of what XP and cards and everything everyone has and you could battle like one boss and then come back and battle a different boss and then make them more difficult and kind of go through this little like story of leveling up your characters and here's how it's playing out. So really fun game, really liked it and really excited to get through volume six of Ruby. Uh, it's a really fun game, really enjoyed it. I love Ruby, make sure not only are you guys watching more game nights, but you can go and check out all the episodes of Ruby that we've done reactions to. All right, it's a lot of fun, it's a cool world, you've never seen it before, but you like the game, please go check it out uh, over at roosterteeth.com. Yeah, it was really fun. I'm glad I got to play Yang. Uh, it's probably my favorite character from Ruby. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I definitely see the character coming through in, in this game, like how I have to play and the utility and mechanics of the character is really fun. Um, yeah, definitely recommend it for people who like the show. Um, it, it really brings out memories of combat and stuff like that in the show while you're playing the game. So definitely recommend it. All right, that's it. I really enjoyed the game. Um, don't know anything about Ruby. I still don't. But I, that was, uh, out of all the games I played, that was one of the better ones. Enjoyed it quite, quite a bit. So guys, thank you very much. Bye. All right, well, that was Ruby, the board game. It made me much more interested in the show than I was originally because it was a good game and the characters seemed cool. It seems like a cool world with cool villains and cool fights. Sounds like something I want to check out. All right, if you enjoyed this game night, check out patreon.com slash blindwave and give us the support so we can do more cool yes, stuff please. like this. God, please. <laughs> check out early access as well. Full length reactions over there. All kind of good stuff. Yeah, you should our really, store. We have stuff in our stores. Really well. check it out. Yeah, check out the OSTs as well. Check out this game as well. Ruby Combat Ready.